Hey, this is Peter from PeachTravel.com and AllInclusiveCaribbeanCruises.net. This is not a travel video, but uh, I ran into an issue with um, setting up this Craftsman M215 uh, self-propelled mower. And so I just wanted to share the resolution to this um, in case someone else is having the same issue. So it's a brand new lawnmower and uh, I'm here setting it up. Uh, of course, I look, I'm look. i looking at the manual or the guide uh, and not looking at the same time. You know, it's, it's, it always helps to look. <laughs> um, but I got to this point, this, this part where I'm supposed to pull the recoil starter rope, pull it from here and attach it right here, right? So it's easy for you to start when it's time to cut your grass. Of course, you're supposed to pull this back first, then pull on the recoil. But look at this. It's not coming out like it's supposed to. It is stuck. And I was wondering what's wrong What's wrong is this thing broken. I just bought it online. You know, these things are not really good to buy online, but I bought it at Amazon. And I'm like, I, Lord, I hope it's not broken. But then I found out, and thankfully through another video on YouTube, uh, the person was talking about a different lawnmower. That this one is an M215. So I figured, let me make a video about this m215 in case someone is looking for the m215 uh, the issue with this particular type lawnmower and so the simple solution is if you notice you may notice that um the handle here because I, I was wondering it myself so like why is this so short you know why is this handle so short i need some more um, land on these things handle well it's short because um this is not the full length this is how it was packed in the box so it could fit in the box but there's a way to lengthen the handle and by doing that you release you actually release the part of the handle that's preventing the blade underneath from spinning because when you pull on this it is supposed to spin the blade but the blade is not spinning because a part of the handle is ex extended on there and it's preventing the blade from spinning. So here is how we release that right here. There are two knobs, one on either side. So we unscrew these. And then now we pull this handle out. See, it comes up until you get, you find the next hole. So this is where it was first. Here's the next hole. And of course you want that hole to fit through here, to, to match here, or to line up with this top hole, so you can put this back, these back in. So let's do that. It's kind of awkward. To We get the picture. So find this one first over here. Uh, 
I found this one. It's easier just because I'm holding the camera and doing this at the same time. It made it seem difficult, but it really is easy to find the hole. And then this one over here. So those are, your hand is extended. And now let's try this again. So we pull this back and now we pull on the recoil starter. And there it comes. Oops, it's loose. Put it in here. Sorry about all this, it's a little awkward because I'm holding the camera, holding up my phone while I'm holding on this, and so it makes it difficult. But see, here we have it now. Tighten this back. Oops. There you have it. All set. Of course, this video is a little bit long, but it's just because of my awkwardness trying to hold the phone while trying to while demonstrating to you what you're supposed to do. But it really is simple. Um, again, you simply need to extend the handle by releasing it from the first hole. And these are the knobs. Pull that handle out, find the second hole, tighten it on both sides, and then pull this back. Pull on your restarter cable rope, and it will come right out. Well, good luck. You take care now.